What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to go over how to create a simple pricing table that you can use to link um, the buttons on each pricing table, each option. So when someone clicks it, it takes them to the checkout page. So with that, I'm gonna jump into it and start building the pricing table as well as linking those um, buttons to a specific subscription product on your WooCommerce store. So let's jump into it. Awesome, so I'm gonna go and create a new page just called like plans. And then I am just going to um, get a template, let's just say like pricing table and I'm gonna find one that I like. So I am using generate press. I'll put that link in the description box below. But let's just find one that looks good to use right here. So let's use pricing table nine and let's just name this um, starter. Awesome. And so I'm going to update this page. And if I view this page, right, and I click this sign up button, right, it doesn't take me anywhere. I want it to take me to the checkout page so someone can sign up for a subscription plan if I'm selling like, you know, hosting or SEO retainer package or whatever your use case may be. So with that, I need to link this button. But first, I need to create a product for the starter plan. So I'm going to go and go to products and I'm going to add new. And you need WooCommerce subscriptions to do this, but I will link it in the description box below as well. So let me just name this starter and I'll make this a virtual product because we don't need any shipping details. And I'm just gonna price this for, or sorry, simple subscription. I'm just gonna price this for $99 each month and everything else looks good. And I'm gonna publish the starter. And this is important. So right here, you can see that this product ID is 386. So I need to link this right on my plans page. So when I click this, it takes me to the checkout. So I'm just gonna edit this page and I'm gonna come here to the sign up button and I am going to add in right here, my URL and I need to bring up these notes real quick. Cool, so I'm gonna add this URL and I'm just gonna say slash add to cart. 386 and I'm also just gonna add this checkout page to the end of the URL. So it's gonna be slash checkout slash add to cart 386. Awesome, so I'm gonna update this. And now if I come back to my plans page, when a user clicks, you know, sign up, um, right now it takes them to the cart. So it didn't take me to the checkout page. So the problem with that is in my WooCommerce settings, if I come to WooCommerce settings, and then I come to products, I can see that I have redirect to the cart page after successful addition. So if I um, click this off and I save the changes again, and I come back here to my plans page, right? And this is slash checkout slash add to cart 386, the product ID of the subscription. And if I click sign up, it takes me to the checkout process. And now your customers can you know, place an order for their subscription right? And after placing the order for their subscription, it charges them. And then one month from now, it will also charge them again. So, you know, they can view their subscription in their account. And if you're selling, you know, virtual products such as, you know, hosting, SEO retainer, all that stuff, you know, your customers will be able to see this in their account. They will be able to see, you know, change their payment method, basically see the starter plan, etc. So, um, I'm not going to create products for pro and elite just for this tutorial, but as you can see easily, we were easily able to, um, just link this to the checkout page by adding slash checkout, then adding slash, you know, question mark, add to cart three, eight, six. And if you're having trouble with it, not redirecting, you know, check the WooCommerce settings product right here. You also could try installing a plugin, um, that I also put in the description box below but I think there's like um, WooCommerce um, redirect checkout or something um, that might be able to help you um, help you redirect. I think direct checkout for WooCommerce. I'll put that link in the description box below, but that might just make it easier to manage, you know, selling virtual products. So you're able to, you know, sell your subscriptions or your agency subscriptions or memberships or whatever your use case may be. So if I come back up to this um, direct checkout for WooCommerce, 
I can, you know, also add this, add to cart redirect, replace the cart URL, basically just simplify the checkout, right? So I can remove checkout fields such as, you know, address one, city, um, state, etc. So this might be the easiest just to manage it. And now, um, you know, for example, let's remove the comments, should be an address. And now let's say I come back here, I go to the checkout. I can see right now I just have first name, last name, zip code, and email address. So if you're selling virtual products, this is usually what all you ever need um, to collect customers' payment, right? Because they're still gonna use their payment down here, but a lot of payment processors only require like the zip code um, and the country. So um, obviously you're gonna have to test this and make sure your payment processor does, but if you're using a um, you know, well-supported one, that should be the case, but obviously you need to test this out. So um, yeah, this simplifies it. Your users don't have to enter address. They're taken right to the checkout. You can collect payment easily for your virtual subscriptions with WooCommerce. And if you're an agency or maybe you just think, oh, no one's gonna use this, um, you know, I really would recommend adding a pricing table on your site and getting things automated as much as possible rather than relying on clients sending you checks each month. Checks get lost in the mail. You know, checks don't send out. Checks, you know, the accounting department might tell you after you're waiting on a, a delayed invoice or a check that, you know, we only send checks in the last day of the month and now it's your problem because your contact with the client didn't um, let their accounting department know before the previous month end. So now you're waiting for a check for you know 30 to 40 days. So these are just some tips I like to do. Um, we bill all of our clients um, monthly or yearly, but we bill them all through using WooCommerce subscriptions. So I guess like here's an example of uh, you know pricing table that we use, right? And we just make it easy for people that are or have built an existing site with us to sign up for a maintenance plan with us. Obviously these prices are, this is just an example, but um, you can take this really anywhere. And if I come back here to this plans page, and let's say I wanna build it out more, you know, I maybe could add an FAQ section somewhere. And let's just say, let's add another, um, let's just go back to this and see if we can find, um, We'll just go with testimonials, but uh, yeah, you could also add like testimonials down here, FAQs to this page or whatever it was. And um, for ours, we just keep it simple and you know add specific things that people might be curious about how it works. And you could feel free to copy the copy that we use um, on our store. I also can put this link in the description box below. Basically, we're just trying to make it as easy for us to get paid each month and not be a burden on the client. It saves them time, saves us time, because one month from now, that subscription payment's gonna renew automatically with WooCommerce subscriptions. So that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give me a thumbs up, click that like, um, hit that subscribe, and yeah, have a great rest of your day. And maybe if you're new or saw this tutorial and you're wondering what WooCommerce subscriptions is, I will put it you know, here, here, and yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace.